Executive Mosaic Publications singled out the achievements of Bay Systems President of the Intelligence and Security Sector Al Whitmore and National Reconnaissance Office Director Christopher Scolese in a pair of profiles celebrating their 2022 accomplishments. U.S. Defense Secretary Lloyd Austin said Western countries were working to address Ukraine's most pressing needs amid the Eastern European countries' increasing consumption of artillery ammunition in its fight against Russian invasion. Heidi Hsu, Undersecretary for Research and Engineering at the Department of Defense and a 2023 WASH 100 winner, has issued a memorandum announcing the establishment of a new task force within the Defense Science Board tasked with identifying operational and weapon system concepts. Bay Systems and Leonardo UK have been approved by the US government to develop an aircraft survivability suite. The Department of the Air Force has selected local utility services provider Eversource to implement a commercial energy delivery and usage model at Hanscom Air Force Base in Massachusetts. The Department of Defense, NASA and the General Services Administration amended the Federal Acquisition Regulation to accelerate government agencies' payment deadline to small business contractors to 15 days. Lael Brainerd is stepping down as vice chair and member of the Federal Reserve Board on February 20 to serve as director of the National Economic Council responsible for providing advice to the president on U.S. and global economic policy. John Plum, Assistant Secretary for Space Policy at the Department of Defense, said Kathleen Hicks, DOD's Deputy Secretary and an inductee into Executive Mosaic's 2023 WASH 100, is overseeing a review of how the Pentagon uses special access program classification for space programs and across the department. Join Potomac Officers Club's 2023 Fourth Annual Artificial Intelligence Summit on February 16, 2023. Visit PotomacOfficersClub.com slash events. Wally Adeyemo, Deputy Secretary of the Department of the Treasury, met with officials from the Internal Revenue Service to discuss how the Inflation Reduction Act can be utilized to improve IRS customer service for small businesses. Senator Joni Ernst, a ranking member of the Senate Small Business Committee, has called on the Federal Acquisition Regulation Council to withdraw a newly proposed rule to require small businesses looking to work with the federal government to disclose their greenhouse gas emissions.